For Jewish people around the world, Rosh Hashanah is a time for reflection. So I've come to London's Steinberg Center to find out the significance of this high holiday to Jewish people in the UK. Like many other Jews, Rabbi Laura Jana Klausner, a leading figure in the UK Jewish community, will use the high holiday as a time to begin introspection. I'm spending time thinking about myself and our community, um, and then as just a very normal Jew, I'm spending time thinking about what I've done wrong and what I've done right. During Rosh Hashanah, Rabbi Laura will be holding a sermon in the north of England, but she also encouraged Jews who do not usually go to synagogue to celebrate the new year. If people want to go to Shul on Rosh Hashanah, great, but there are other spaces either in synagogues or in communities or in non-communal spaces, home to enjoy being Jewish. And you can really, the center of Jewish life is not synagogue, it's our homes. And people are becoming less skilled in those Jewish rituals or Jewish life in the home. And we are around, and when I say we, I mean rabbis, educators, other Jews across the board to help on that. Focusing on the theme of reflection, Rabbi Laura told JM1 she thought the Closer to Israel rally was one of the most significant events of the past year. We celebrated the existence of having an independent Jewish state. And occasionally it's wonderful just to say, we are so grateful that we have an independent state. That was one thing. But more than anything, it was cross-communal. There was a wonderful display of working together and unity. The movement rabbi also had a word of encouragement for those living in Israel. I think as we stand at the moment with the peace talks, very, very delicate, I would wish the people of Israel courage and safety. Because without safety, you can't have courage. But without courage, the safety may not be long term. As many Jewish people use this time to look forward, Rabbi Laura Jana Klausner told JN1 what she hopes to accomplish next. I would love to nurture and uh, hopefully work with people and teach and inspire people to love being Jewish just because it is a healthy, good, enriching way of life. So I would love to encourage that in every space, whether it's through services or teaching or interaction or social justice. Um, and for the community at large, I think we really have challenges to do with long-term planning for looking after each other whilst the demographics are changing so quickly. But I think people are not taking seriously enough the growth of the Haredi community because we, they double every 12 to 15 years, which means that we will have a Jewish community very soon that is very different, has very different needs and very different abilities. And Rabbi Laura had a special message for all the JN1 viewers. I wish everybody a sweet and healthy year. Um, in some ways boring, that's often good, and in many ways fulfilling. During the High Holy Day, over 2,000 people will gather on the grounds of the Steinberg Center, which is home to the Movement for Reform Judaism. So wherever you are around the world, have a good and sweet new year. Shana Tova Umatuka. This is Celestina Ololode for JM1 in London.